For this drawing I'm using dark grey pastel mat and use my reference photo on top, black transfer paper. You see, I've just turned the reference into black and white and use white transfer paper. So you're going to see me use both types and I'll show you why. So as I was saying, I've just used, um, turned it into black and white to easily see. Some photos, they just don't work with line art and there's no point doing them as line art either. I can just as easily see here. I'm using a standard graphite pencil, pushing fairly firmly, but I could also use a pen. I, it'd be easier to see if I used a pen. And then you see, I just check to make sure that I can see the marks actually going through. You don't want to spend 20 minutes or so, or however long it takes to, to trace. So use a, a pen. As I said, that's easier to see. And I'm just going to transfer that drawing onto the pastel mat paper. Now, if you want to draw it freehand, if that makes you happy, do that. I don't want any mistakes on my pastel mat paper. I really don't want to be erasing if I can help it. You can erase on the, you know, it's not a big issue, but I, I always think it's, it's better if we don't erase. So see, I'm just checking again. And I check quite frequently because I've done a few instances where I've had the, the um, graphite paper the wrong way around, done my transfer all the way through, checked at the end to find that nothing has come through whatsoever. And I know a lot of other people will have done that too. So it's worth checking at the beginning. The reason I got white transfer paper as well is because areas like on the bridge of the nose, I, I won't want to go really with the dark transfer paper because if the background's going to be fairly light as well, there is a chance if you go really heavily on the transfer paper that you won't be able to cover the markup very well. You can go or get around that by uh, just using a bit of, um, of an eraser, say a putty rubber to get most of the, the um, transferred lines off. So you're just seeing kind of like a ghostly image. That's all you really need. I have it a bit harder when I'm showing the demos just so you guys can actually see the outline that I've done quite clearly. But I'll use the white then in the places like you see the, the tips of the ears where, where that's really white going into the background. I can just pop that white transfer paper on there to show those uh, marks up for me without that fear then of perhaps seeing a dark line there. So I'm just going to carry on now with this very simple process. Now all I've done, I've just popped that white transfer paper underneath, removed the dark transfer paper and made sure that everything stayed lined up. Okay, so all I did, I moved my magnets right to the tip of the drawing, uh, sorry, the reference photo, so I could slide away the black transfer paper you see I'm checking that and you can see the white marks now instead. And then with that reference photo in exactly the same part, I put the light transfer paper under and move my magnets back down. Okay, so as simple as that. This white transfer paper also gives me the benefit of showing up some of those highlights straight away. Okay, so once again, I'll just put a few of these lines in, carrying on that technique. So now I just remove the transfer paper. The reference photo is by the left hand side of me. And all I'm going to do now is just put in the areas with my pencil on the side. So I'm not depositing a lot of pastel. The areas that are really dark, the areas that are really light. Because as you can see, I can only just see my transfer line and I don't want to lose the position of these big uh, dark or light elements. Okay, so that's all I'm doing now. Nothing complicated at all. I'm just making sure that I can see where all the pieces fit on this kind of puzzle, just so I don't have to worry or be concerned about those. I can think about other things rather than thinking, it oh, is the eye position? Can I just see it? You know, those type of questions. So I'm just gonna put in the main masses of lights and darks. So this is pretty much like a drawing stage. The transfer shows me the position. Now I'm confident with that position. I'm just going to pretty much strengthen the lines. Just like I said, like a drawing. So 
a black pastel pencil and a white pastel pencil that's all you really need but you don't need to be going hard at all one of the secrets with pastels is to start off very very lightly and gradually go harder with your marks i.e pushing on more pastel on the latter layers So as you can see, that's really simple and very basic what I've done. You can take it a bit further. I've shown on my other videos, you know, where I would have, um, as I said, taken this stage a little bit further, refined it a bit more, put more of the lights and darks in, but um, it's not really too difficult a drawing. So I'm just going to put the masses in and um, work on areas like the back, which will be much darker and that. Uh, four leg as well. I, I can work on those when I get to it. I just want to make sure I know the position really of these um, these elements early on in the drawing. If you'd like to see exactly how I did all the details, colours on this and hundreds of hours worth of other drawings and paintings, pop over to my Patreon art channel. I've got over one and a half thousand members. This one's on tier one and will cost you just four dollars and you get access to everything else on tier one as well. Hope to see you there soon.